Snow White and Jolly are on an educational trip that every dwarf must take. And in his mysterious jewel case, Jolly must still enclose two joys. are the most stingy, cruel, selfish, and treacherous beings there are. Oh, what horrible creatures. And that's not the worst of it. Their favorite thing to do is pick on dwarves. If they were to capture us, it would be completely awful. And yet they live in such a beautiful paradise. How strange. Don't worry, Snow White. As long as I'm with you, you'll be safe. I'll protect you from those wicked, nasty goblins. Oh, oh! Jolly! Oh no! Snow White! Jolly, what do we do now? Ooh. Jolly! Oh, this is horrible! It's the goblins! The goblins? Radiant beauty. Thank you, sir. I trust you found your accommodations comfortable. Please don't hesitate to eat anything you like. <laughs> really? I have taken the liberty of providing you both with more suitable clothing. Wear them at your leisure. Thank you, Prince Gobby. You're very kind. Didn't you say goblins were selfish and cruel and we shouldn't trust them? That's what I always thought. Might I inquire as to your names? I'm the Princess Snow White, but just call me Snow White. 
And I am Jolly. Snow White, what an incredibly beautiful name. A bit too tall, but no matter. With those beautiful sparkling eyes and those strawberry red lips, I'll make an exception. It will be the greatest wedding this kingdom has ever seen. A wedding? What wedding do you mean? What wedding? What do you mean? Between me and Snow White, of course. Huh? What? The ceremony will be held tomorrow before lunch. Therefore, you must rest now. Should you need something, do not hesitate to call. Would you please wait a minute, Prince Gobby? Eh? I'm really sorry, but I have no intention of marrying you. What? Are you crazy? Snow White can't marry you. You two just met. What, are you out of your mind? That's just ridiculous. Silence, you peasant! Ah! Ah! <laughs> you will be my wife. This is what I've decreed, and this is what shall be. Prince Gobby, you can't mean... Guards! Ah! It would seem that my wife-to-be is in need of a rest. Take her to her bedchambers at once. Ah! Ah! Oh no, Snow White! Oh, Jolly! God, get rid of him at once! We must begin to prepare for the celebration! Let me back in there right now! I must see Snow White! I demand that you let Snow White go right now! Aren't we the noisy little dwarf? That's right, and I'm gonna keep making noise until you let Snow White go. I'll do it as long as necessary. So you really wish to save her, do you? Huh? Look over there. Huh? Upon that mountain grows the Karen fruit. Bring it back to me, and I shall set her free. Karen fruit? But you must bring the fruit back to me before sundown or we have no bargain. All right, I'll do it. But how do I know you'll keep your promise? What are you saying? Do you doubt my word? I always keep my promises. All right, I guess I have no choice. This won't be so bad. It doesn't look that far away or so high. I'll show that nasty old goblin. Just sit tight, Snow White. I'll have that fruit in no time. Memul! Silence, you impudent fool! I am the ruler of this country, and I shall rule it any way I see fit. Get out of my way! I can't believe it. It feels like I've been running all day and I'm still not any closer. <laughs> Yes, but you've overlooked the fact that your little friend will not make it back in time. What? <laughs> See, what I neglected to mention is that this mountain is also called the Shadow Mountain, and it's impossible to reach the top without knowing the key to the spell. You cruel prince! You let him leave and you knew this all the time! In fact, I'll bet that he's awfully tired already. Jolly. How could you? And I bet you don't feel any shame or regret at all, do you? Why, of course. We will get married and I will be the happiest prince in all the world. Prince Gobby, I don't believe it. You doubt me? Go ahead and pretend to be happy. But pretending doesn't cover up the fact that deep down you are miserable to the core of your oh. soul. No, 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 no. Silence. How dare you insult the prince? Jolly. I don't think I can do this. Oh, Snow White, I'm so sorry. I failed you. Oh, I wish the other dwarves were here. Boss, Woody, Chamomile, Gourmet, Fet, Goldie. Huh? Ah! Ah! A goblin! The girl from the castle! 
You came to stop me from reaching the mountain. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Huh? But where are we going? Ah. Huh? But what about that one? It's what? I knew I shouldn't have trusted that goblin prince. Understand. Are we talking about the same prince? Understand, you're in love with him, aren't you? Thank you. Hold on, Snow White, I'm coming. Up Shadow Mountain? That little dwarf! This isn't over. I'll show him. That impudent little dwarf! I'll teach him a lesson. where I thought he'd be. Bah! It looks like it's up to me now to make sure that he doesn't complete his mission. As I expected. Snow White. 
I can see that you care very deeply for her. Snow White is lucky to have such a wonderful friend. Hmm. What are you talking about? Everybody has someone who cares about them and wants their happiness, even you. Huh? Oh. Mamol, what's wrong with you? Why are you blushing so much? Surely you don't mean to suggest... <laughs> the prince is blushing even more. What? I'm not blushing. <laughs> <laughs> Silence, you giggling fools. That's it, I'm leaving. Majesty! <laughs> I really don't know how to thank you for all you've done for me. Oh, don't even mention it. Actually, I learned a lot from this experience. I guess we've learned that goblins really aren't that bad after all. Yeah. Do you think that Mamol and the prince will be happy together? Of course they will. I have a feeling that the next time we meet up with them, we'll feel like we've known each other for a long, long time. Oh. oh he's so cute. <laughs> In the Goblin's County, Jolly found the second shiny joy for his jewel case. Gobby is now happy and loved. And for Jolly and Snow White, it is time to move on.